are just crazy. Uh, I just love the word crazy because I think it suits you more because you know this uh, as a stunt actress it's a very niche market and there are not many people out there who would actually do it. Yes. But what I want to know is your name is so unique. Fiza Fukazawa. Is that like some samurai name you picked up from somewhere or is it your <laughs> real name? No, obviously not. Okay, for your information, Fukazawa is my stepfather's name. Oh. So he's pure Japanese. He's from wow. Yeah. So I use his name in my commission name. So yeah. Yeah. see. So it looks like wow. Well, it looks like <laughs> but you know, it really yeah. suits you, you know, with what's very you catchy, eh? Very catchy, it is very unique because you yeah. obviously don't get that kind of name here in exactly. Malaysia. Yeah. So how did you get into stunt? Being a stunt woman, okay. is it something that you've always wanted to do, or is it just something that you stumbled upon? I've been a dancer for quite so many, many years before I joined to this uh, stunt industry, and then that is where I started because I feel like oh, I need to do something that's more excited, something like dangerous or something that really boosts up your adrenaline. So like oh, okay, what's next? What's like danger is your middle name kind of thing. No words lah, because that is her hobby. <laughs> you want to do? I said after this, don't do it. She will do. She, she won't do it anyway. Continue doing it. Stubborn girl, eh? Yes, because this is a passion. Yeah. So let her do. Yeah, but at the end of the day, an apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So she obviously got it from you. <laughs> but I think that's also because you are passionate about it. If someone is not as passionate as you are, one time you get burned, you're like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> scars on my, my hand, my body, my face, wow. my face, but it's okay. Yeah. You're obviously a pro at what you do. You are certified mm -hmm. and you yes. also had the um, Australian and Hollywood, and Hollywood yeah. Stunt Academy that like you went yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. What was the training like? Mm -hmm. The training is like obviously like very, very intense and very, very challenging because when you go to foreign country and then you are the Asian and then you are the smallest one, everybody wants to compete. Oh yes, I'm the best. I can do this. I can do that. And then I was like, okay, you know, I try, I try, and then wherever they do, oh yeah, I can do this. Even though, like, okay, let's try. You know, you have to always like, you have to push harder, or you push harder and less. trust yourself that you can do that. And I found it, it's not about your size. It's your small. If you're big or tall, actually, it's in here. If your mind says, oh no, don't do this. You cannot do this, and you know, it's holding you back. So yeah. That <laughs> do you have like um, any funny moments or scary moments where you can actually share with us stories of when you're doing a stunt? The scariest one, I almost feel my die moment. <laughs> Wait, was there? On the sky. Is this the one that you jumped off a plane? Yeah. I saw I saw the yeah. Instagram and thing. feet. And then I have a problem with my parachute. And I was like spinning, 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 spinning around. So that is the most scariest moment in my life. But yeah, thank goodness everything was okay. How did you get out of that? Okay, let me tell you. In skydive, I always remember that emergency procedure. Because whenever something happened to your main parachute, do the emergency procedure and then pop up the second reserve parachute. So yeah, so that's that is the life saver. Yeah. So Visa, you've been doing stunt work for give and take five years now. And you've done movies and dramas, films, films and movies. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah, all these stunts that you do, you kind of like need license to do it. Big specific mm. skills that you well, need to have. Well, um, depends. Sometimes, you know, or they require like, okay, um, we need a stunt that uh, who can do scuba diving or something like that. Yes, you need a scuba dive license, like open water. And then, of course, you need a driving license to drive the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's basically it. Mm. Yeah. So, being in this industry, obviously, it's very male-dominated. Do you feel that the men threaten or intimidated by your skills and what you can do? I think they are like very supportive because we rarely have a stunt woman uh, as like a for a profession, you know? When I still new in this industry, I went to the set and then you know people always checking on me, uh, are you a stunt woman? Yes. Uh, are you you do stunt? Yes. Oh okay. And then they come back again. Uh, you are you a woman? <laughs> <laughs> they, they would do a double and triple take. Yeah, maybe because before this, they never, you know, see any stunt woman that do stunts. Mm -hmm. Because normally, you know, they just like take a stunt man and then they put them in a woman's wear 
or something like that. But I managed, I managed to like you know prove to yourself. prove them, to prove them that I can do the stunts better than men, something like that. You know, so then they slowly like to try to accept. Oh yes, we have a very capable stunt woman in Malaysia. So you being the pioneer, a stunt woman pioneer in Malaysia, would you train? Would you be happy or willing to train? Oh yes, I am very very happy to share with all the stunt women the skills, the knowledge, or whatsoever it is that you need for stunt. I'm very very happy to share this. Knowledge is about sharing. Yeah, you know? sharing is caring. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using that hashtag. Yeah. If there are women out there who would like to be like you, you know, who's got this, or maybe not just like you, but you've got this really extraordinary and crazy dreams, but they're too afraid. What would your advice be? My first advice is please do not be afraid of yourself. Whatever you do, just do it. Okay, because you never know what is your skill or what what is your capable to do. You know, because if you don't explore, you you never know. Something like that. So never stop exploring yourself. Right? Yes. Never stop exploring. <laughs> and I think I need to yeah. explore my capabilities as well. Exactly. Like you. I'm yeah. sure that you know whatever I do, I'm sure you can do it too. Don't you? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs>